it is so hot. Why? Now I'm gonna get sunburned. Have a little grocery haul here. I need to focus. Let's see how this month turns out. March friends happy March it is the third month of the weight loss challenge and I'm not gonna lie as you can see we're in a different location we are in Puerto Rico right now I am in Puerto Rico with my family I'm excited I'm also a little nervous because you know we're on this weight loss journey and we have to be consistent and it is March 4th and for three days I have not worked out so when I come home I'm gonna try and do a workout I'm gonna just try and do workouts when I'm here sorry for the AC noise I have an AC here in the background but um I'll take little clips and stuff of what I've been eating and everything i'm gonna try and eat healthy guys but i'm also gonna enjoy because i haven't been to puerto rico in so long and i want a mofongo i just want all that juiciness in my life let's see if we can stay consistent this is actually a great month to film a weight loss journey because not every day you can like have a set schedule and work out you have life you have a vacation so let's see how this month turns out happy march happy weight loss journey i will link down below all of my other two weight loss journeys and yeah see you in a few I have these at home already, which is why I'm not gonna get them, but these are so freaking good, guys. I'm at Walmart. If you haven't tried these, I highly, highly recommend. Okay, guys, so I have a little grocery haul here. I'm just gonna skim through everything really quickly just to show you guys what I got, give you an idea of what I've been eating or what I like to eat. First things first is the Caesar salad kits. I love Caesar salad. It's so good, so easy for lunches or dinner. I wanted to try this avocado ranch one, so I picked that up. We have some shredded lettuce. I love snacking on baby carrots and hummus, so I picked up some of that. As for veggies, I just picked up what I usually use all the time, which is cilantro, green onion, red onions. I got a pepper and tomatoes. I always like to have these veggies on hand because I use them the most and they bring a lot of flavor to the foods I make. I also got eggs. I know these are not the organic and like blah, 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 fancy ones, but Walmart version, it is what it is, you'll live. I also got some baby spinach. As for fruits, I just got some oranges and bananas. The bananas I use in my green smoothies. I got some jasmine rice, I'm not a fan of brown rice. I don't think I ever will be, but I do love me some jasmine rice. I always see my friend Maddie using these Morningstar Farm sausage patties, so I wanted to try them out, and I love spicy things, so for sure, I will keep you guys posted on how this tastes. I also found these. They're chicken and vegetable dino nuggets. I love dinosaur nuggets, and I thought these were pretty cool. I mean, I've never tried them before, but again, I'll keep you posted. We also got some salmon palettes in the back here. Also some ground turkey because I want to make taco bowls or like just like a taco dip or something. And I love ground turkey. You can use ground beef too, but I think it tastes like the same. It has a little bit of a difference, but I like ground turkey. This is the roasted red pepper hummus. You already know I eat this with my wraps, with my baby carrots. This is just so freaking good. Daniel got some coffee in the back here. We've never tried this. If you have tried it, let me know down below. We just wanted to see how it tried. It looks so good. I'm not a huge coffee person, but I'm excited to try this out. I also got some Dave's bread, thin sliced. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over TikTok. It's just really freaking good so good for you it doesn't make you feel bloated after i just love this bread car balance mission tortillas the best i got the whole wheat ones i do usually get the flour ones as well it doesn't really matter i think they're just really freaking good so i got some of these for tacos for wraps anything you want my toxic trait is that i love lunchables i only got two this time you see you see balance balance but i love pizza lunchables i literally eat them freaking cold i don't even heat them up or anything i just find them so good and i know they're not the healthiest but it's just my toxic trait okay along with anything spicy hot doritos or cheetos i got the earth balance butter i feel like this is just such a good butter there is another butter that i wanted to try that my friend crystal was recommending on her instagram i'll leave her videos down below but i couldn't find that butter hopefully i do so i know everyone's been raving about the rouse sauce but that rouse sauce like it's just all over tiktok was seven dollars guys seven dollars for a pasta sauce are you kidding so i got good old prego and it was two dollars two dollars y'all so i got roasted parmesan garlic and chunky garden and i am a happy camper i got some cream cheese i got this chili powder it was literally like 70 cents i got some guacamole usually i would make my own but they had no fresh avocados and i wasn't feeling that so i just got this i got this halo top coconut fruit pops i am getting my period and i'm miserable and i just wanted to try something new i hear a lot about this halo top brand and i wanted to try this out so i'll keep you posted on how this tastes daniel got this i don't i don't eat this 
this is a no for me. Then these little craft singles, again, Daniel's cheese. I love this Asian zing sauce. I feel like it's so good, like when you're cooking shrimp or even fish, like a little bit goes such a long way. It's so, so good. This is the Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Nothing healthy or anything by any means, but if you haven't tried this in your Chipotle bowl, life-changing. It is so freaking good. I mentioned these on my Instagram. These I already had, but these are the Quaker Oats Rice Crisp. Totally recommend these guys. These are so freaking good. I don't think I mentioned that I got this tuna, but yes, I got tuna. The next thing I got was this Quaker oatmeal thing. This is mostly for Daniel. I don't really like oatmeal like that, but I mean, I'm down to try. The last thing I got is my LaCroix. I love the tangerine and lemon flavor. It's just so freaking good and I miss drinking soda. So this is the closest thing I'll have <laughs> and it's really yummy. So this is pretty much everything I got. I'm looking crusty and dusty, but basically I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Sorry again for the stupid beeping noise in the background. I am getting that fixed this week. I know it's so, so annoying. That's basically what I got. And throughout the week, like I said, I wanna show you guys more of the meals I'm making. So hopefully gonna remember to record and add that in here. Hello, hello. It has been a couple of days. It really has. We need to catch up. We are back in Florida, as you can see. The workout corner is right here. We're going to work out today. Today is March 12th. It is Saturday. We've, um, ha you know, I, I don't, I'm at a loss for words. We're back from Puerto Rico. I remember that in the end of the weight loss journey episode two, I had said March is gonna be really hard and it really is. So I just came back from Puerto Rico. My travel vlog should be up. I even did a pack with me within this vlog. I'm also going to Trinidad. I'm seeing my family in Trinidad for the first time. They have no idea that we're even visiting. It's a complete and total surprise. Oh my God, do I have an eye booker? Okay, no, I don't. It's a complete and total surprise. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Just a couple of things that I wanted to Say because I feel like I really really have been growing throughout this journey I did not work out the entire time I was in Puerto Rico, but we were super active We were eating delicious food crispy food fried food empanadas Limbels ice cream and while I was doing all that guys. I did not feel guilty for me. That's gross I literally remember days and days and days on in high school in my weight loss journey before thinking Oh my god, if I eat this slice of pizza, I messed up. I'm I <laughs> My whole routine is gone. I feel amazing still. I know I haven't worked out. I have been walking and everything like that, like when I was in Puerto Rico, but I haven't really like fully worked out in a hot minute. And I just wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys about that. Basically, it's been 11 days since I've worked out, 11 days. Now I have been walking, I have been shopping, I have been moving my body, but I haven't been like working out. It did make me think, should I just skip this entire month? But the month isn't over and I feel amazing and my mental health feels so freaking good. I don't wanna give up. You know, not every day I'm gonna be here. I am gonna be traveling. I am gonna be doing different things. So I need to work with what I have. What I will say though, is that even though I haven't been working out these past 11 days, because literally I had to come back from vacation, catch up on work. I just was literally running around every single day. I missed working out and I'm happy about that because that just, <laughs> that just shows growth. And I'll be transparent and say I was a little bit sad that I literally was like, whoa, 11 days. Like when I put it in the calendar and I see it in front of my face, I was like, damn, I really, I really slacked. I could have definitely woken up earlier and done a workout. I definitely could have stayed out later. I definitely could have not been on TikTok for an hour. I can't change the past. We're moving forward from that. Today I had the most amazing breakfast. I had an avocado toast with a fried egg and it was, oh, it was heavenly. When you see me working out next time, might be tomorrow, might be the next day, and it also might be in Trinidad. Thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Thank you for all the positive feedback. Let's get into the workout. We're gonna do some arms and then we're gonna go for a hot girl walk. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. <sighs> I'm sweating. The good time looks like you can't do better. So much better. Okay, my battery is overheating. It's hot. I'm sweating. Okay, go on our hot girl walk. Um, my face is already red because that's just that's just how I be flowing. I know I'm working out and this is like super 
I got issues. I literally got these popsicles from Walmart. They're from Halo, Halo Top I think they're called, or Halo. They are so freaking good. They're 90 calories, they're low on sugar, they're amazing. I'm sweating, it's hot as balls in Florida. I just cannot wait to eat popsicle after this workout because I am gonna enjoy my 90 calorie popsicle made out of real coconut. That was a lot, that was a lot. I highly recommend them if you haven't gotten them or haven't tried them, totally recommend. Let's go on this hot girl walk. When I was just a little girl my mama used to tuck me into bed and she made me a story that's enough i need to focus oh my god it's fucking hot you can do better i dare you to be wilder Oh my god, this is so close up. If you see that my face has a bunch of white peely things, I know that sounds gross, but it's because my face is peeling from my sunburn and I put sunscreen and then mix it all together and it looks nasty. So that's what's happening right now. I'm just warming up with a wall and then I'm gonna start running. When it comes to running, I wanna do a whole dedicated video, but I'm waiting till I get a little more back into it. I feel like I can still improve before I give my input. I know it's harder for us thicker girls or even skinnier girls, whatever. It's hard to start running in general. What am I talking about? Ain't nobody like running. No, I'm kidding, I actually do like running. Since I gained all the weight, it does take a while to get back. Just warm up with the wall. Um, I do some calf raises. I forgot to record that, but I did some calf raises, double chin on fleek, um, and yeah. That's it. Why am I like this? Anyways, let's enjoy this workout. I'll come back and give you the update. This is what I'm talking about. It's too fucking hot for this shit. <sighs> Honestly, I went at the wrong time. This should be something done in the afternoon. Now I'm gonna get sunburned. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Taking a little break. There's air trapped. I'm not breathing correctly, which is good. Well, it's not good, but I'm I'm knowing what I'm doing wrong and I will do what I can to fix it. For some reason, when I'm walking, I know I'm, when I'm walking, when I'm running, I know I'm not heel striking. I'm making sure that my posture is correct. Sometimes I do slack off, but for this slower run, I know I wasn't slacking off. So the front of my calf, like my my shin, I don't even freaking know, um, is hurting whenever I put my foot against the floor, but it's not an unbearable pain, but also know your pain limits. Don't be doing the most when you could do the least. You know, it's better to come out in the evening time, but I'm a fool. At least we're getting it done. Um, you guys, I got a new mirror. My dad got this for me. Oh, look at my face. I put sunscreen, guys. This is just how my face gets. Oh, I'm sweating, but we're feeling so good. We're feeling good. We're feeling Feeling good. Oh, look at this beautiful cherry face. I burned, I think, 300 calories. We did 2.9, 2.09 miles. If you haven't worked out today, this is your sign to go work out. You can do it. You're amazing. And if you don't feel like working out, tomorrow is okay too. We were able to earn our sticker today. All the days that we missed, that's okay. What matters the most is that I wanted to work out today and I'm excited to work out. So progress. And we haven't had a mental breakdown. <laughs> I'm so proud. Who is she? We don't even know her. Hello you guys. We are in the final day of this March weight loss journey and I have to hop on here because I have not vlogged anything. Just a recap of the month of March because I'm not going to make this very long but for the month of March I went to Puerto Rico, I went to Trinidad and this week we are going to Disney. I feel extremely blessed, excited and happy that I was able to do all of these things and I think I needed it as well also because I needed to spend time with my family. I don't know it's just been a really really good month. My voice is a little hoarse because I went out last night with my friends and it was absolutely amazing i hadn't seen them in so long my friend gabby flew out from atlanta and basically we just we lived our best lives truly although this month was not productive at all in regards to working out i can't change that so i'm not going to dwell into it i'm not going to marinate on it we're not doing that but what i will say is that after reflecting and writing in my journal and i will say for next month and moving forward i need to not put so much excuses just for an example i will put off working out because I need to edit and it's the only time I have to edit but at the end of the day your health is also important too so I have to start putting me first instead of like editing all the time and like doing other things if I really want to do this and I really want to do it right I have to realize that I need to also set boundaries be committed now I'm not saying that you're not entitled to have your bad days of course you are but let's face it this month as you can see in the calendar I didn't do much and it's not that I wasn't active I did go on walks and stuff like that but I do like to add 
had some arm workouts in. I like to like break a sweat, you know what I mean? And I feel like that didn't happen much for me this month. For this weigh-in, I just wanna say I did not record anything. I genuinely forgot and we're about to leave to literally Orlando right now. I feel amazing, there's nothing wrong. Like I didn't, I don't feel like I gained weight or anything like that. Like I, I feel like a baddie. I really felt super happy this month with my body and my mental health. And I hope it continues to stay that way. I did go on the scale like two days ago and at the end of the February month, I was 211, 211.4, I think. This month, I was 212.6 to be exact. So, I mean, I gained a pound. I don't really think that's that serious. You can take a shit and it's probably gonna go away. So, <laughs> I don't think it's that serious. Again, I'm really happy. I always try and say I don't care about the number on the scale and I really don't. Sometimes it does get to you. Next month, I will fully do the full measurements of my body because I know I've been saying that for a while and I know people are interested in that. So, I'm gonna do the measurements of my body and also do like a proper way and like we always do in each end of the video but for right now i just have a lot going on we're leaving right now to orlando but i wanted to hop in and end the vlog please guys don't give up on me like i'm not giving up on myself if you're going through a journey too not every journey is gonna be like consistent sometimes you have inconsistencies so i just hope you guys understand i hope you guys don't watch this video and think like i'm being super inconsistent or i'm not taking this seriously because i really am but march was just a really busy month for me and i don't regret it at all my mind and the way i'm thinking is changing like like, I feel very good. For April, I'm making my promise to myself that I'm gonna be consistent. I'm not gonna give up. I'm going to make myself a priority and not put other things before me. And most of all, I don't want to keep putting excuses, like more than I do, because I know myself and I have been putting excuses. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you in the next episode of The Weight Loss Journey. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Bye. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want